Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. So that's what 
that's what we said. So that's that's the difference between what you what, what you probably grew up learning and what the Bible actually says. You understand that, right? Okay, so you know who you are, you know your nationality, right? What's your nationality? Black. Right? Is that what the Bible says? What, what, so what the Bible says? Oh, look at the sign real quick. I'm gonna show you a couple things. Because you believe in the Bible, right? Oh yeah. And you wanna make you wanna make it to the kingdom of heaven, right? Yeah, I am. You know how to make it? Yeah. How you do it? All the righteous. Follow this with the commandments. Okay, follow the commandments, right? So if there's anything that you're breaking the laws right now, because you know what sin is, right? Oh, yeah. what, what's sin? Doing anything against God's will. Okay, give me give me sin real quick. I'm gonna read the definition to it. So what we what we out here doing? We ain't out here to bash you. We ain't out to bash you or nothing like that. We out here to show you the truth, right? And you, if you receive it, ain't gonna, ain't gonna be no issue, right? Exactly. So we want to show you what's, what 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 to do to make to the kingdom. Cause you cause it's a, it's a couple things I see that we can change real quick, right? Oh, yeah. and, and if and, and if that's in your spirit to, to change, you gonna do it, right? Mm -hmm. All praises. Read that. The book of First John chapter three and verse four. Uh huh. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Uh huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. So now I ask you where you fell on this sign, right? Because this this chart right here I did, is, is, is something that we use to help identify where you, where, uh, where you come from, your nationality, right? So you said you're black from Judah, right? It's for the same tribe Christ was from. That's your forefather, your blood relative. You see what I'm saying? So now let's get some laws for you, man. So let, let's get you on the right on the right path. Give me first Corinthians 11. 11 and 3. Yep. Now watch this. We're going to go into some laws. This is in the New Testament. So you what, what, uh, what, uh, what Paul is writing about in the Spirit. Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Right. And the head of the woman is the man. Uh -huh. And the head of Christ is God. So you got a godly order that he's giving out right now, right? You got God, Christ, man, woman, children, etc. Right? That's how. That's the order that God set up. Keep reading. Watch this. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. Uh -huh. This honor of his head. So when you got your head covered, when the scriptures coming out, say you just iron your head. Who was who? Christ, right? So, and so that means that means because when we read is a law, that means if you're in the midst of that, that means you're what? You're in sin. So in order to get out of sin, you gotta repent, which means what? I mean, you got to uncover your head while, while the scripture's coming out. Yeah. That's all you got to do. So what you going to do? I'm going to my head. I got to roll. We waiting on you, man. Oh, man. You, did, you just said you were seeing the man. I thought you were trying to get the kingdom. I see this. I'm, I'm going to ponder on that. No, no, no. What we telling you right here when we reading the law is, because you ain't got to, when you walk down the street and you don't hear us no more, you put your head back on. What we saying is that's the steps to repentance. Yeah. Right, so while it's okay. while we read the Bible and, and, and prophesy right now, the scripture says you gotta take that off. Okay. So that means if, if if you don't take it off, that means you're a willful sin. Right? That means like, hey, I know the law, yeah, but I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, the law, yeah. Right. Which means that give me Romans six twenty three. Oh. Try to help you out. Jim that cross already. Oh, oh, I, 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 I'll I'll see if he was, if he was going to be man enough to stick around here, buddy. Because yeah. guess what? Cause, hey, because guess what? Guess what about that cross, man? What's up? Do you read anything in the Bible to tell you to put that put that cross on? No. You know what that's called? It's a remembrance. Right. But, yeah, do you know what that's called? Idolatry. Idolatry. You know what that little, little commandment you break it? Mm -hmm. Very first one. Uh -huh. It said, "Have no other God before me." Right. That's right. Because matter of fact, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and. Uh, you know what I want? 64. Yep. Give me that. Watch this. Because you know about Deuteronomy 28. You know what it talks about? Give me, uh, give me Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 15. And then chapter 64. Okay. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the, the chapter, the book, Deuteronomy chapter 28, is actually explaining the curses that God put on the children of Israel for disobeying his laws. And it goes into a plethora of things. It goes into black on black crime. It goes into us being uh, smitten with madness, our names taken away from us, us coming over here on slave ships, all that stuff, right? One of the things about that cross, and a lot of our people, in our minds, we wonder what 
worship some God. We got a zeal for him. We know we love him. We're the most spiritual people in this world. But according to the Bible, that's going against the first commandment. And that's a curse that was put on us. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So when we got, we got took this slavery, we were scattered uh, th throughout the whole world, right? So whoever was the ones that took us to slavery, let's say the Portuguese came. And they took us over here to Spain, right? When we was in Spain, a lot of Catholicism, that's what that's whatever you was that's that's whatever religion you were, right? Same thing with is with Islam, things like that. You were worshiping that rock because that's your slave master worshiping that rock, right? And now to this day, we carry on traditions that we've been taught from the from the plantation all the way up till now. But we never actually went into the book and realized that these things are against God. So now we're gonna show you why. Read that again from the top. Yep. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even until the other. Uh -huh. And there thou shalt serve other gods. So now we on the, we on this side of the world in America or Babylon the Great, and we're worshiping other gods, right? We don't know that we're the children of Israel. You, you probably just for the first time know you were from the tribe of Judah, right? That's what, exactly. So now we bring it to remembrance who you are because we lost that. Read, keep reading. And there thou shalt serve other gods, uh -huh. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So what are the other gods? Read that again. Wood and stone. So when they hung Jesus cross up, what they hang him up on? On the cross. What was the cross made out of? Wood. Wood. And they said that was another God, right? Yeah. You know, that, that, that God go back to Tammuz. That's why I said the letter of a T. And they put him up there, right? Because he never told you to actually remember him that way. Right? And I, like, let's say you got a best friend or a family member, they get stabbed with a knife. Right? Is you going to put the knife on your shirt and say, this is a remembrance of my, of my people that got stabbed? Yeah. That's the same thing we're doing when we're putting crosses on our, on our necks. We're using a torture device to remember what Christ went through. But Christ just wants you to, uh, to repent and keep his commandments. That's what. That's how you do the honor Christ, right? So when it comes to that cross, man, another, that's another commandment that you break. Me. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.